What's going on YouTube? This is Frame. I'm Mariah Elise. And on this channel, we dig deep into the art market from analyzing the art market from me giving tips to collectors as well as artists. If this is your first time here, welcome. If you've been rocking with me for a while, thank you guys for coming back time and time again. And thank you for rocking with me. So usually we talk about auctions after they happen. Today, we're gonna be talking about an auction before it even happens. Matter of fact, it's probably gonna happen on the day that I actually post this video. That's the Phillips London 20th Century and Contemporary Art Evening Sale, which is gonna be happening on April 15th. There's four things I really wanna put a focus on today pertaining to this auction. Number one, we're gonna take a look at four artists that Phillips suggests that we really keep an eye on. Number two, we're gonna take a look at two lots that I'm really excited to see in this auction. Number three, we're gonna dive a little bit deeper into those artists, what their auction history looks like, and what I vaguely predict them to do in this auction. And number four, I'm gonna highlight an artist that I fell in love with that I've surprisingly never heard of and never got a chance to see before this auction. Before we get started, guys, make sure to give me a thumbs up, like this video, it really, really, really helps. Pretty soon I'm gonna be moving on to something a little bit more communicative, specifically for my YouTube audience so that we can all be in conversation together. In the meantime, guys, there's a link in the bio to subscribe to my newsletter where I'll be giving out stuff that I don't really have the time to give you guys on YouTube. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and dive in to point number one. So if you guys have even taken a look at this auction, you guys have seen an article that Phillips wrote talking about the four artists that they think that we should really keep an eye on that are actually in this auction. I 100% agree with them. Most of the artists I've already known, I've already studied, I've already taken a look at. Some of these artists are new to auction, period. And the others have very little auction record. So those artists are Joy Lavinjo, Lena Iris Victor, Toy and Oju Odutala, and Tunji and Nai Jones. Now, what's really exciting for me specifically is three out of four of these artists are women. Now, Joy Lubinjo, if you watch her interviews, if you read about her, she has a she seems to have just a very kindred spirit. She reminds me of a friend of mine who is an amazing artist. His name is Ryan Williams, and they they both have this connectability to their family. Something that I've seen Ryan do that I've read that Joy Lavinjo does is just sort through family albums and find pictures in these family albums that are beautiful and that would be beautifully painted. And if we look at the lot that's actually in this album, it's her as a little girl, as well as her aunt. And there's something beautiful about taking your heritage and taking your lineage, creating history and giving that story to the world. She's an artist that continues to come up in multiple conversations and I'm really enjoying seeing her growth in her work. She's just trying to paint black people doing everyday things. And those are the artists that I find myself really drawn to. Next up is Lena Iris Victor. Now, Lena Iris Victor is someone that I've probably seen her work at least six years ago. I remember being drawn to it because she uses nothing but 24 karat gold and black. So you're instantly drawn to it because of the boldness of the colors. But it's also something you're constantly trying to figure out. And this piece that's actually actually in this auction is focused around constellations. And that's very clear if you take a look at it. It's very complex work. Another thing that I tried to remember as I seen her name pop up in this auction is, I remember that there was something that happened between her and Kendrick Lamar. And there was a video with Kendrick Lamar and SZA that actually came out that was a remnant of her work. And it looked very similar to her work. So uh, that was another place that I seen her work. That's probably it's probably somewhere that you guys have seen her name or even seen her work. But again, she uses nothing but 24 karat gold against black. And I think it is absolutely astonishing. You guys, if you haven't taken a look at it, don't just look at the piece that's in this auction. Take a look at the collection of her work. Next up is Toyin Oji Odutella. Man, now when I see her work, sometimes I don't like to, putting two artists that are so amazing in comparison to one another in the same sentence, but the way that she uses the texture within the face is beautiful. And there's this malleability to her work that reminds me of Amawako Boafo, or they remind me of each other. And the malleability and the way that this work has this has this comfort in, in changing 
and moving. There's this movement to her work that I think is absolutely stunning. If you only take a look at what is in this auction, you are doing a disservice to yourself. I think that you absolutely need to look at all of her pieces and get into the idea that she's creating these stories, creating black people in this style to where they're almost doing something. And it allows us to not be monolithic. That imagination is something that I really enjoy in her work. Now, the next artist that they mentioned is Tunji Adenaya Jones. And first thing that I notice when I look at his work is the color. There's no way that you can't see the color. And there's something that he's doing here that's either monochromatic or the idea of putting two colors that are next to the color wheel or um, across one another on the color wheel together that's creating this amazing contrast within his work. And there's also the characters that are somewhat mythological and the way that they move the way that they sit in the trees and the leaves and the way that they are even painted it seems like it's almost unreal but it also seems like they could be floating in a way that's one of the reasons why i'm 100 percent drawn to tunji's work the way that he paints the way that he imagines the way that he allows his work and his brain to go beyond a figurative style uh, that is natural but to go into this mythological sense of a human being and almost floating between dimensions is what it feels like. All right, so point number two, let's talk about the two lots that I'm extremely excited to see in this auction. Um, but also let's talk about their past as well as their potential. The reason why I'm extremely excited to see Lena Iris Victor in this auction is because she's never been to auction before. So there is no history on her. We have no idea how she's gonna perform. We have no idea if she's gonna do well. We have no idea if she's gonna sell below the estimate, within the estimate, or above the estimate. We don't know. She's new to auction. Phillips is taking a chance on her. So I'm excited to see what is actually gonna happen with this lot. Now, Constellations 3 has an estimation, the low being 30,000 GBP and the high being 50,000 GBP. Like I said, we have no idea. I don't even know what to predict it to do. I really hope that she's able to solidify our market here because if she is, we're probably gonna start seeing a lot of her pieces pop up. Again, this is her first piece to ever come to auction. So to see her really establish her primary market in the way that she has, and then see her be able to reach to the secondary market, I'm excited to see that. Disclaimer, as always, wanna see the artist get paid, but you guys already know that. Now the next artist that I'm really excited to see is Tunji Andanaya Jones. Now the reason why I'm excited to see him is because he really doesn't have that much of an auction market. He's only had, as far as I can see, and as far as I'm concerned, only three paintings to go to auction they have done really well but there's not a solidified market for him yet it's kind of all over the place now what i will say is all of the pieces are both of the pieces that have sold on auction have sold well above the low estimate between 200 and 900 almost a thousand percent above the low estimate but 209 percent is an incredible jump that's a crazy jump. So we really can't gauge his market. Now this first piece, Red Twins 3, which was painted in 2018, had an estimate between 15 and $20,000, that's USD. Okay, it ended up selling for $163,800. That's $148,000 above the low estimate. That was the first piece that he sold in auction. Now, if we go back to Between the Blue Vine, which was executed in 2018, again, sold at Contemporary Curated for Sotheby's New York. Now, this had an estimate, and I would assume that they said, let's go ahead and bring the estimate a little bit higher, between forty dollars and $60,000, and it ended up selling for $138,600 which is about 98,000, almost $100,000 above the low estimate, which is still really good, but that's about 226% above the low estimate. Now look at the difference, 226% and 900, almost 1,000% above the estimate. Now for my fourth point, here's an artist I've never heard of. It might be surprising that I've never heard of this artist, but I've never heard of him. And I've really grown to love him. I mean, after I seen his work in this auction, I started really digging into what he's done and what he's done throughout his career, and that's El Anatsu. Oh my God, I fell in love with the way that he's able to shape and form. Uh, I fell in love with the way that he uses materials. I fell in love with the idea that he believes that 
Uh, anything that's touched holds the energy of that person. And when you bring it to another person, now it holds the energy of that person. I fell in love with his thoughts. I fell in love with the way that he creates. And I fell in love with the way that he uses materials. I think he is such an incredible and beautiful artist. And I hate that I have never seen his work before this. It's large in scale and it moves. I encourage you guys to really go take a look at this artist if you've never heard of him. And I'm excited that I was able to see his work in this auction. I have no idea how I haven't run into him before but I'm absolutely incredibly in love with his work and I hope that you guys fall in love with his work as well that's all I have for you guys today please don't forget to subscribe and like hit me up in the comments if you have any questions sign up to my newsletter and I will talk to you guys soon as always if you in these streets stay safe I'm out